Sana Aparesque, owner of Sana's Gourmet Mediterranean in Sioux Falls, has been selected as a finalist for Best Chef in the Midwest. The 2023 James Beard Foundation Restaurant and Chef Awards finalists were announced today. Aparesque is one of six to be honored as a finalist in the state region. The winners will be able to be Everything's going to 400 degrees oven. So people should not be afraid I'm using my fingers and I wash my hand 100,000 times. <laughs> and this is a whole wheat dough for dessert. So I was born, grew up in Syria, in Damascus, Syria. Uh, my dad was a farmer. He had a citrus farm and olive orchard, so they sell olive oil. I always loved cooking. Honestly, if that to me, I would never went to agricultural engineering or graduate school. I would have not wasted my family's money. In a way, it helped me because I know about farming, I know about nutrition in your body, so it's like all related. But I always love to cook. But for my parents, they want education. My mom would say, everybody can cook. Do you have to be an engineer or a doctor? I went to Paris for baking, came back, started writing my cookbook, developing recipes, and here I am. Mediterranean food is fresh. I mean fresh, fresh, fresh. You go in the morning, get your ingredient, cook it. Most of my food is not fancy the Syrian food even. It's all the uh, village food. Uh, beans, uh, grains, fresh vegetables. Uh, we, we get fancy with the herbs and the flavors, but the presentation and all this like uh, extra ordinary th ingredient, we don't. I wanted people to experience that you can cook so healthy, so tasty, uh, so different, but you enjoy it and on a small budget. And we only make a small amount, small numbers. This way they're sold out every day, so we don't have leftovers. We didn't have a fryer. I still refuse to have a fryer. So we don't have French fries, we don't have a burger, we don't have a chips. So from the beginning, I mean, you can see them, they're hesitant. They heard the Mediterranean food. They heard they're good for you. If you are condescending, you know, like, this is Mediterranean food, the best food, you turn them off. For me, I said, you know, you know, just try it, taste it, you know, give you, you know, and then I'll say, you know, we're making this special bread, taste it. And, you know, the minute you give them a taste and they realize, Oh, you know, I don't feel heavy. It tastes so good. I feel good. I end up gaining them, you know, little by little. And they're, now they're, anything I make, they're gain. The key for any, any dish, doesn't matter how fancy it is or how simple it is, that all ingredients have to work together. Texture-wise, flavor-wise, view-wise. Otherwise, if one ingredient overpowers the dish, you're just tasting one ingredient. You want to have it all to come together. What's nice about Syrian, Syrian ingredients that they're all very simple ingredients. That's why it's so good and healthy. Simple ingredient, simple recipes. So we, we order so much spices that we had to rent a special room for them. So you have, that's a whole coriander so we can grab it fresh. You have turmeric, sumac, all spice, and you have the tahina right there. Then you have harissa, pomegranate molasses and dry mint. And this is the lentil for the soup. So, and this is like a one month supply only. Okay. Any bread shed? During COVID, it was the most depressing things for any business owner. So the, I think Kello was interviewing me and I just started sobbing. A young kid, 11 years old, broke his piggy bank and sent me his money to help me with the restaurant. Never in my life I'm going to forget that. He never been to a restaurant, his family never been to a restaurant, but you know, and I saved his card and we still correspond. Just I mean, for me, this is the ultimate kindness. People in South Dakota are beyond generous and kind. I mean, from so many experience. Here, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. You walk in and everybody says, good morning. Hey, how are you? You have a good day. I, never, I, you know, I was very welcome. Honestly, it's one of wonderful experience in my life.